Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a high street haul. It's going to include items from H&M, from Zara and from Cos. This is actually my first ever YouTube video, so be nice. And if anyone's watching this, I'd love it if you could um, like and comment and subscribe. That would be amazing. Um, so, I'd like to maybe just set a little bit of a tone for the channel and for today's video. What I'd like to do with this channel is create content that is helpful for starters. Um, and it's not going to be a channel which, just, which is just a lot of hauls. Um, when I do a haul like today, I'd like to actually give you a little bit more information um, and try and show you how I'd style each item in a few different ways. So it's a little bit more helpful than just being like, I bought this, I bought this. Um, yeah, so I'd like it to be something that you could look at and think, oh, maybe I've got something like that in my wardrobe, I could style it up with X, Y, and Z that I've already got. Um, yeah, so what, what I'm going to do with each piece is I'm going to show you the piece and then I'm going to insert clip aways or images of myself wearing it in different different ways. That might be an image from Instagram um, or just a, a normal clip away. But I'm hoping to do like a few different looks with each piece. Just because I, I think at the moment it's so important that we're um, shopping consciously. Um, obviously with in the environmental imp impact we now have you know, fast fashion, especially like high street retailers. So I think it's so important to make when you're purchasing, purchasing, uh, purchasing something that you think about it a lot. Um, just because it's £20 shouldn't mean you should think about it any less than if it was £200 for instance. So I'm going to get straight into it, I'm going to show you some of the items and then I'll show you some ways I style them up. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, these two linen gilets. Okay, I apologise apologize if this is a little bit dirty, I've actually wore both of them and I think this one needs a bit of a clean because it's got like makeup around the collar. Um, yes, but these are both just um, a linen gilet and I absolutely love these. The reason why is because you know in the summer when you, it's just too hot to wear layers and you put something on, like plain clothes especially, you put on like a plain pair of shorts and top or whatever and you just think mm, it just doesn't look good, like it doesn't look, it just looks basic basically and you think oh how can I elevate their outfit? These, that I think these are amazing for that because obviously in, in the winter you can put on like jeans and a t-shirt and a blazer and you look so much more put together because of the blazer, but in the summer that's not possible. So I think these are the answer. I absolutely love, love them. I bought the black one first and I was wearing it non-stop. So I went back and bought this colour, which I'd say is probably an ecru. Yeah, I'd say it's it's not definitely it's definitely not um, white. I'd definitely say um, it's very like cream, so it's like an ecru. But honestly, I've absolutely been loving them. So you'll be able to see in some of the cutaways and images all the different ways I've been styling them. But I definitely think that these are amazing and I think they were I think they were about they were definitely under 30 pounds anyway in Hong Kong I think they were around 280 Hong Kong dollars but I think so in England that's where it had to be about 28 pounds um but honestly amazing I couldn't recommend them enough and the next item is something I've actually been wearing with the black one and it's these black linen trousers so they are just simple black linen trousers um, with an elasticated waistband at the back. So at the front, it's it's um, your normal just little clasps and a button, and at the back, it is an elasticated waistband. And um, these are fantastic. I've been wearing them non-stop. I've been wearing them just simply thrown on with a pair of slides um, and bodies, t-shirts, well I won't bore you, I'll show you in the cutaways how I've been wearing them but I do think they're just so so handy to have because like when you don't know what to wear and you just run the shop or wherever throw on a pair of black and pants, tuck your vest or your body into a crop top and off you go. I will say though is that um, I am five foot seven and these just touch the floor on me so with, with like no shoes on so I think um, they, I definitely, definitely couldn't wear them with heels. So I think if you're my height or around my height, it's going to be a trainer's or a sandals job. Maybe if you're below 5'5", five five, you might be able to wear a heel. Also, maybe if you're above 5'7", I don't know if they'll be too short or not on you. Depends on, obviously, the length of your legs. 
Um, so just bear that in mind, I guess, if, if you're looking to purchase these. But for me, I think these are just super handy to have. And you know, in the summer, lots of people love to still wear black, but don't know how to because it's too hot. This would be the answer. Like I've been throwing the, these on with the black gilet and then just a black body tucked in. And I think for a summer all black look, it's great. Okay, so let's put these back on the hanger. Next up, we're going to move on to another pair of trousers. Again, these trousers are from H&M. I don't know if I mentioned that, but all the items up to now have been from H&M. And these are a pair of beige, beige high-waisted um, trousers. Just like the, the ones that I've just shown you, again, they are elasticated waist to the back. And at the front, they are just clasped. So two clasps at the front and elasticated waist at the back. Um, these, again, perfect, but these aren't linen, so I think these have a little bit more of a dressy feel. Um, so the length of these on me is, again, just on the floor. So I have been wearing these with a pair of slides. I wouldn't, again, I couldn't get away with these with heels, but I've been absolutely loving them, and I've been styling these up with, again, a body or a t-shirt tucked in or a crop top, and then putting them with my um, Ecru gilet. And I've been loving that look. Again, I'll show you the picture. Um, but yeah, I've been absolutely loving that look. And I just think these are super handy to have. You know, like, um, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty lazy with like fake tan and all that. So I think when you haven't, you haven't shaved your legs, you haven't got fake tan on, I think a pair of wide leg trousers are amazing because no worries, but you're still, still airy enough to wear in the summer. So I've basically been living in um, in wide leg trousers recently. So I love them. Okay, and then the final item from, oh, actually, no, sorry, that's, that's a lie. So the next up is just this really, really plain um, gray sleeveless t-shirt. Now I've got quite a lot of like the star t-shirts with the shoulder pads in, the very like Frankie Shop inspired ones. And I, and I live in them. So I've seen these and I thought super simple basic. So I've got it in the gray and in the black. Now I've been wearing this with my next items, which are these super simple paper bag weight shorts. I'll come closer and show you. Now these are just completely elasticated waist um, you don't need you don't need to open the button. They're just elasticated waist, super simple shorts, and I got the cream colour, and I also got them in the black colour. I have to apologise for the state of these black ones. <laughs> uh, badly in need of a lint roller on them, but I don't know what I've wore past. Obviously, like a blanket or something. But yeah, so these are super super easy to wear, and I've got to admit that I'm not a big shorts person at all. I'm not a big person for getting my legs out in general. However, you know in summer when it's just like, you just, you run in the shop, you can't be bothered, you'd, you'd usually throw on a pair of trackies or a pair of leggings or whatever, throw these on. So this is what I've been throwing on the beginning of the week when my fake tan still on from the week before. Um, and I've just been throwing these on with just, you know, a simple little top tucked in and a pair of trainers or a pair of slides. However, I do think you could style these up like in a dressy way. Like with this top that I've got now, yeah, I'll talk about this top later. But I think they'd actually go really well. Throw them on with a pair of heels. Yeah, I think that'd go really well. Um, so maybe I'll try and um, insert a cutaway, maybe a little bit more of a dressed up look with these. Um, but I personally didn't buy them for that reason. I bought them for just super casual, um, run the shop, or just sit around the house. Like I've been wearing these all the time when I'm sitting around the house because I've got a little baby, so I'm constantly sitting on the floor playing with him. And short obviously necessary um when you're playing on the floor so these have been perfect and i think they were they were under 10 pounds so super affordable okay so the last oh i'll do my last item from um h&m so my last item from h&m is actually these shoes now these are just super simple slide um heel um and i think i'd say they're about what did you say maybe three inches two and a half inches yeah maybe about two and a half to three inch heel and just got you know the elasticated um band 
and these are i think such a good buy this as well if you see the color of them i'd say they're like a what color would i say i'd say a stone yeah i'd say stone i said they're stone they're in between a cream and a gray so i'd say stone and i think these are just amazing because if you see all the colors on this rail it would go with any of what i've got here i've been running with the outfit i've got now which i'm going to talk about next but i think they are just perfect for you know when you have like oh an outfit and you think oh black shoes would look too harsh and white shoes doesn't really look right what color should i wear throw these on i think they go with an all black outfit an all white outfit no, maybe even something like you've got a pattern dress on and you can't quite work out what color shoe to wear with them i think these are amazing i think it's kind of like a um an alternative to a nude shoe basically and quite like obviously that color is like quite an on-trend color at the moment but i personally love it even if it wasn't on trend but so anyway and they were under 20 pounds so absolute bargain so i'll move on to what i'm wearing now so now we're on to our zara items so this is a full um, zara look the top and the bottoms are from zara so i'll start with the top and it is just this body um it's like a linen blend body and uh, I'll show you the back. Um, linen blend body. You probably see it better than the cut away. Um, and it is a body though, so just for anyone who hates that whole like talking fallout um, aspect of wearing tops. But so it is, a, it is a body. And also, what I love about this top is that it's got a little tie at the back here. So, you can, so that kind of determines how open and wide the V is. So I've tied it quite tight just so, you know got no slips on the video however you can loosen it up and like open the neckline a bit wider so the v you show a bit more of your like chest and um collarbone area so it comes a bit wider and i think that also looks amazing if i was personally i've got like bigger boobs so i think if i was to do that i'd definitely pin it just in case because i think if you leaned forward you would be able to like people would be able to get an angle of the boob um, so I think I would personally pin it um, if I was going on a day out or something, just to be on the safe side. Um, but again, for people who have got bigger boobs, you'll be happy to know that the back of the, the back of it doesn't come low enough that you can't like that you can see your bra, so you can still wear a bra with it. Because I know that will be definitely be something for for this channel. I'll definitely be doing lots of videos about like um, you know how to tackle a larger. A larger breast um how to tackle larger breast problems in terms of how to how to style and how to dress them because it can de it can be so difficult especially like at the moment so many of the styles are backless like so many beautiful dresses and i'm like oh it's amazing pick it up turn around completely backless and it's like i cannot get away with no bra so it's not going to happen um i wouldn't feel comfortable doing it i mean or be anyone who does feel comfortable like i think amazing i'd love to be able to go out but it's just not for me and um, so yes yeah, so i'll be doing some more videos about things like that and um, how you know different how to style and dresses that are more appropriate and um, or whatever anyway i have gone on for a bit of a tangent in this haul but the point of it was is that this top is not too low at the back so you can still go over a bra okay and next up is these jeans now these are the very I think on the website they're actually called 90s wide leg jeans um, and obviously they are very 90s inspired um, the wide leg and they have a, a raw hem so which I think is actually pretty good because they are quite long again as I mentioned earlier on I am five foot seven and I've got a th probably these three inch heels on and they just touch the floor um, so it basically mean I was five foot ten and they'd be touching the floor so I think if you're you're shorter than I am they're, they're definitely going to trail on the floor and I if I wear them with I couldn't wear them with flat shoes so I think the option would be maybe you could just simply cut them I don't even think you'd need to get them professionally hemmed because they have got a raw hem so I think you could probably get away with just cutting them with a pair of scissors so that is these jeans and I, again I've been loving them I'll, I'll insert some different um, photos and videos of what I've been wearing them with but I absolutely love this style 
Okay, so next up again, another Zara item, and it's still got a tag on your notice because um, I haven't actually worn it out the house yet. <laughs> but it is this um, sleeveless um, cardigan. Um, now, this is, I would say it's a sleeveless cardigan, however, on the website it is, I think it's in the dress section. So when you've obviously buttoned it all up, it is just, um, they said they styled it as like an oversized, um, and you have an oversized relaxed dress basically um, and it does look lovely like that um, obviously on the website the Zara models are all like very tall and thin so it just dangle, dangles off them and um, when I put it on it, 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 was, it was oversized but like not not oversized enough that I feel comfortable wearing it just as like a big baggy dress like you know because it's like not super oversized on its boobs and then like baggy here do you know what I mean so I think if I was to wear this as a dress I would definitely belt it and I think if you belted it it could look a bit more like an elevated more dressed up look and um, so that'd be one option so I think this is such a versatile piece because you can wear it as buttons up as a baggy dress put a belt on it wear it as um, a belt that's more elevated dress or which is how I bought it to wear is wear it as a top with just this one button done so I'll insert um, a picture or a video clip of me wearing this as a top so I'd wear it like with these jeans but completely open and just one button done um, for that like open um, open top dress over pants look basically and I, I really like that look I really like that look honestly like I I wore it with these jeans um, when I was filming some of the cutaways of this and I thought it looked really good. But I could also think that you get away with wearing it with like these black lamb pants. Um, yeah, so I think I absolutely love this and I think it's such a, that again is another su such a versatile piece to have in your wardrobe. So that's next. And then my last piece of clothing is this cardigan now you will have to excuse this because it's definitely dirty it needs to go in the wash um but it's this little gray cardigan a little crop cardi from cos this one now um this is not something that i would normally pick up at all i wouldn't usually pick up cardigans in general really however i thought the buttons on this would be super handy again for the problem we just said before and uh, we're having like bigger boobs i think I love the, the options you've got, so you can either like button it completely up and be completely covered. How I do it is just open one button. So you show them a little bit more of like your collarbone area, but not too much boob. Um, or I've also done two buttons open and then wore it off one shoulder, just in a slouchy, relaxed look. And I think that looks really good as well. Again, I'll insert some pictures. But I just think... I just thought it would be a really good first half piece of my wardrobe and again the colour fits so well with the rest of um, most of my pieces and yeah I've just been really loving it so you can have a little look on my cutaways and um, of course also if you head over to my Instagram you'll see more pictures and more ways I've been selling these pieces and others of course and um, so I'll put the handle in the description box below so let's we're going to finish this video off with just two accessories and the first one is this bag now i think we can all tell it's quite um bottega inspired bottega inspired but this one is from zara and uh, i think this is so nice now i have kept the tag on because unfortunately i'm gonna have to send it back because i'll tell you the issue in a minute once i've just shown you but i think it looks so lovely with like just this outfit i think it looks lovely like just going for maybe a brunch like lunch with the girls um small pair of like heeled sandals this little bag and i just think it looks really nice and it's very like that the chain is that like length of very 90s inspired um that little short over the shoulder length which i think it looks amazing however that is the reason why it's gotta go back because i don't know if i just didn't look her properly or it didn't show you the bag on someone but in my head the bag had a long chain i don't know why i thought this was longer because I, with my bags i like to have the option to be able to wear them with the crossbody as well and um, we're having a small a small baby i'm constantly like bending down picking things up carrying him and having one over your shoulder like this is just not feasible um for day-to-day -day life so unfortunately this has got to go back but if you're not carrying around the baby or picking them up and down i think this would be gorgeous 
or even if you wanted it just just to keep for like brunches. But I'm being honest at the moment, I'm not going to get much brunches, so I think it's a bit of a waste of money. However, the next ones are a pair of slides. I'm let me bring these a bit closer. So these are, I know, I think on the website they call them car key. Yeah, I think they, they describe them as a car key slide. Um, I'd say they are like a mix of between an olive and a grey. Yeah, I'd say an olive and a grey. And I just thought these were so nice for like a bit more of a dressed up slide. So uh, maybe, you know, if you go for brunch or you know, barbecue in the garden, you want to look nice, you want to look nice and feel a bit more elevated, but you don't want to wear a pair of heels. I thought these would be lovely. Like, yeah, I just think they're super nice. Like, I, I definitely describe these as a dressed up slide. But yeah, it's not much more I can say about these, but super simple. And I think, again, they would go with everything. Like, you could wear them with your linen pants, you could wear them with um, this if you wore it as a dress, or this with some jeans. I just think they go with everything. And yeah, they're really nice. And they were, 40 pounds in in hong kong um so in england i imagine they'd be less but again i think that's really good value so i think you can get such good, such a lot of wear out of a pair of slides so i think that is everything yeah that is all my items for you today and um, so if you mind to watch the video and get to the end of the video i'm sorry if i rambled on at all and um, i am new so it's practice makes perfect right so if you got to the end please like comment subscribe and maybe head over and check out my instagram as well and um, so thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon bye, -bye.